I'm Jesus, and if you'd like to win a Stiletto Knife Forest DD pad in a giveaway generously sponsored by CS Money, the biggest trading site in CSGO, check the link in the description below. Now, this is going to be a video where I scrape IEM Katowice 2019 team stickers, and as I'm sure everyone has noticed, you know, this mage's stickers are finally here, and they're a marginally less crappy reskin of the Cologne 2014 stickers, you know, marginally. And they also don't scrape like the past couple of mages. We'll use Windstrike as an example. Now, no matter what you do, you will damage the logo before you can get rid of these two rings. You know, go any further and this will end up happening to you. So, not exactly ideal, but on the other hand though, I think these original stickers look so awful to begin with that I legitimately think scraping them like this might be an improvement anyway. But you know what? I'm gonna try every single one and you can decide for yourself. So this is our first sticker. I think you could definitely say that this team's vitality comes from a place called Zaiwu. And it does have a nice big logo, even if it isn't exactly what you call a vibrant one. And if you give it six scrapes, it looks a bit like this. Now, it might look a bit crappy in the menu, but in game, it does look a lot nicer. And this is going to be a pretty common theme with these stickers. They look better in game than they do in the menu. And You'll notice this with our next sticker, which belongs to the Dane Slayers, Vici Gaming. It's definitely one of the better stickers released in, in my view. Give it six scrapes and you'll get this, which I think looks pretty nice in game. Although it's largely just because the logo matches with the outline. So it's actually harmonious rather than jarring. Next up is Vega, who I am shocked are actually still at the major at this point. Apparently they had more going for them than I thought. Their sticker actually does work pretty well, all things considered. So six scrapes, they're all pretty much six scrapes actually. And you'll end up with this, which, you know, is, isn't too bad in game. And, you know, at least isn't any worse than the original sticker. We've also got Tyloo, who have a pretty terrible sticker list major. So, you know, the logo is too small, the colors are too dull. It's just terrible. I do think scraping it does marginally improve it though, which, you know, is better than nothing really. You know, you've got to take these small victories wherever you can find them. And there's similar problems with the spirit sticky, you know? Like, why are these colors so fucking dull? Like, bump up the saturation valve, seriously. Like, this would actually be an, a nice sticker if it didn't look like it had been left out in the sun. And personally, I don't think this one scraped too well either. I think I got bad RNG, which didn't help, but I, I think valve, all in all, just mucked up this sticker. Next up, we've got Liquid, who seem to have gone for some sort of coat of arms style logo which I don't think is great but it's not terrible either and it does scrape really well. You hit it up with those six scrapes and I think you really get a much nicer sticker that's turned out you know pretty good in all honesty so I guess you could say that scraping this one is recommended. And that brings us to the end of the cycle of major humiliation although at least the boys do have a nice big logo here so that's pretty cool. I don't know if this one is truly improved by scraping though. You know, I'm personally a bit split on it. So just for this once, I'll let you make up your own mind rather than blindly accepting my word as law. So next up is NRG, a sticker that I suspect will synergize very, very well with a Big Dick Stacy sticker. And mine looked really good after I finished scraping it. Like legit, I think this one looks really cool like this. So, you know, 10 out of 10 would scrape again. And after this, we've got the Ninjas, a team whose general performance over the last few years is really echoed by the way this sticker scrapes. And what I mean by that is it's pretty much hollow on the inside. You can see right through the shuriken. And I think this would look fairly good on a white skin, but it just doesn't really work very well. I think it's, you know, kind of meh, to be honest. Navi, on the other hand, is not very meh at all. This org just seems to have great stickers and it scrapes as good as any and better than some, I would argue overall it's a slight improvement and it's certainly a nice looking sticker on an AK Redline anyway. We've also got what appears to be a Brazilian football club or something along those lines. I think the, the green circle around it is pretty ugly to be honest, but the good news is six scrapes and the dirt is gone and I think the end product here is pretty good, all things considered. And another good logo actually is the, the Hellraisers logo. It's got Lots of saturated red, which is just always a winner in general. Unfortunately, I don't think this one scrapes particularly well. The, the logo's fine, it comes out nice and clean, but the, the white circles just don't blend very well. I'm not a big fan of the end result here. Next up is Greyhound. You know, I've heard on good authority that one of their players is 
a bit of a dick. The sticker is actually quite similar to Vici's sticker and, you know, I think it looks pretty good, all things considered. You know, it also scrapes fairly well. I think the end result here is fairly nice looking. So, you know, I'd recommend giving this one a scrape, personally. As for G2, like, I think this sticker is not too bad. Like, you know, at least the, the Samurai with the French colours is nice and big. It doesn't scrape terribly either. I think I got a bit of a rough run with the RNG here, but the end result is still decent. Um, I think this is one of the few stickers where the, the circle around it doesn't look too bad to begin with though, so I wouldn't personally scrape it. Next up is Furia. Um, I like to think of Furia as Norv's genetically superior cousin, and hell, Furia did make it to the Major, unlike Norv, who bombed out. It's also definitely been a hit as a sticker, and all things considered, this one actually does scrape pretty well, so I think I can definitely get on board the Furia craze. I think this is quite a nice looking cat. And that brings us to Fnatic, a team which I really think needs no introduction, and their stickers have always scraped really, really well, and this one is actually no exception. I think it turned out pretty sweet. I, like, I think it really has been improved significantly by being scraped. Now, next up is the one sticker that rules them all when it comes to sticker sales. Uh, that would be Phase, obviously. And there's nothing wrong per se with how this one scrapes. You know, it comes off nice and clean. The, the colours look okay. The, the main problem with this sticker is that the Phase logo is quite small, which sort of doesn't really do it, you know, that many favours. We've also got the Ent sticker, which is obviously very hotly anticipated. A lot of people were rooting for them to make it to the Major, and it's finally happened. This one scrapes, you know, pretty well, all things considered. The logo is basically a circle, which, you know, makes things easier, but I think it's definitely improved by removing that ugly bit of brown. And would you know it, Complexity is actually a Legends team at this Major for the first time in a, a very, very long time, and their sticker scrapes fine, all things considered. The problem is there isn't that much colour there, so the end result is pretty bland. And, by the way, what's that star doing there on the Cloud9 sticker? I mean, I'm sure I'm missing something obvious in my sleep-deprived stupor, so somebody pointed out in the comments, but I'm a bit confused. This sticker did scrape properly, though. Normally, the Cloud9 ones get messed up when you try and scrape them. This one turned out well, which I think is very overdue at this point. Now, this brings us to our third last sticker, and this one is going to make for some very big sticker combinations, particularly with a very immature Australian player. And like with previous majors, this sticker also scrapes pretty well too. Like, I think it is genuinely improved by, you know, having that scraped off. Second last is a Vanga. I think that's meant to be the head of a trident or something. I'm not actually sure, but it is a pretty cool logo, all things considered. And I think it gets even cooler once you scrape it. I think that is a, a pretty genuine improvement to its final design. And last but not least, we have the reigning champions and tournament favourites, and therefore the team probably fated to get, you know, horrifically upset at some point during the tournament, Astralis. And, you know, I, I don't know if this looks that good when it's been scraped, but, I mean, the original sticker didn't look that good either. So, you know, I think this one, you know, is really up for debate. But, anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.